guys welcome back to sisters talk tv thank you guys for your subscription also for your support continue to support us once again with your subscriptions and also liking our videos this is going to be another real housewives of potomac kind of like update so it's we are all going to be talking all about andy cohen so andy cohen made a statement on this past week of watch watch what happens live with Rachel Lindsay, who is one of the first African-American bachelorette woman to be on the show and also to have like her own spinoff on the 19th season of The Bachelorette. So Rachel is a lawyer and she is also like a, a media personality. So he asked her, hey, like Rachel, would, you know, were you upset with me? Um, because of the whole, like, you know, Monique situation, also, like, the Royal Housewives of Potomac. And Rachel said, you know, she wasn't really furious. That's the word that Andy used. But she felt that he was holding Monique a lot more accountable than he was holding Candace. And he was really letting Candace slide in the situation. And he said that, you know, well, Andy said, you know, I wasn't really, you know, I was kind of holding both of them accountable. But the only thing is that they didn't show it. Like, the editors, they didn't show it. And it, it seemed like he was, like, really picking on Monique. And I may put the, um, like, the audio or so. I just may put add the audio on here. But that's what he said. He said that, you know, he was holding Candace accountable the same way he was holding Monique accountable. But they didn't really show it. And Rachel, all she pretty much said was, um, you know, well, she, she's glad that, you know, he was able to kind of clear that up because that's what it looked like. And he was just like, you know, yeah, I guess it is kind of good that he's able to clear it up, but it wasn't shown. So in a way, it's not that great. So I guess it's Andy's kind of like response to all the backlash that he was getting. You guys know we really talked about it here on our channel on Sisters Talk TV how Andy was really treating Monique. It was so not right. It was so unfair. And he was really, like, really getting into her. So I guess this is kind of his way of kind of backtracking to kind of apologize to the public and say, like, you know, I was treating Monique the same way I was treating Candace. Um, I was holding Candace accountable, but it wasn't shown. So my take is, okay, so if you were really holding Candace accountable and you weren't you weren't quote unquote picking on Monique why did the producers or the editors rebut everything right. you said and and, and then you were also saying herself, like anything Monique said you said that MC didn't happen and then the producers says that it's um, the show, most you know, important thing she's done in years like and I gotta tell you evidence of what this Monique thing said. delivers so it's also really what funny. is it Andy like, like are you just kind of really backtracking because it's the of meaning of Veronica Carey it's out today from and I'm so glad that people were actually like you know calling them out calling it what it was because what he was doing to Monique was just not right I guess he's starting to see that man this looks really bad and I think in a way they were probably trying to vilify Monique on the reunion you know every every reality show they need they need a villain so I guess Monique was like the villain um to kind of backtrack like the whole plot situation if you knew if you didn't know so I feel like that's Andy's way of like you know responding to the public but I honestly think that the excuse that he gave was BS because if if it was editors then why did the producer rebut everything you were saying I feel like he intended the reunion to go a certain way but after he saw some of a lot of the backlash he's like oh I need to weak I need to collect correct myself and also after Monique quit and all the support that she was getting and all of the you know support she was getting and people like really like saying like you know they're not gonna watch because Monique is not on the show and honestly like one of the reasons why I actually started watching Potomac was because Monique was at a season two so that's one of the main reasons why I actually started watching Potomac so I I don't I'm not here for Andy's little excuse that he had for Rachel. I mean, yeah, Rachel Lindsay. 
um, and also the excuse about it was editors. They always find a way to blame the editors, right? He said he was pushing for a, um, he was pushing for a, um, episode four, like, you know, for it to be four, four, um, four episodes of the reunion, four parts of the reunion. I'm just like, well, what will be shown on part four of the reunion? Because it technically part three was 90 minutes. So we're just missing 30 more minutes. Yeah. So I think that that's what happened during the reunion. They tried to vilify Monique, but because of the backlash and Monique quitting and people losing interest, you know, once pe- once you start messing with their money and the ratings, yeah, they're really going to, and he's really backtracking because he knows, like, the ratings are going to be bad. Um, and because the backlash that he was getting, like, no one wants to see that. So people are upset, and he's like, no, nah, I got to get the ratings back up. <laughs> so I don't know. I have a few questions. So since Andy kind of did say that, you know, backtracking. Do you guys believe him? Because I don't. I don't believe, like, that's what happened. Because because of the producers and them showing us, like, what Monique said, Monique would have looked really, really crazy out there if it wasn't because of the producers. Really showing us, like, what, pretty much agreeing with everything Monique said. Like, Yeah. So, shout out to the producers or the editors because I honestly, I don't believe anything Andy is saying. I still think that, um, and we'll probably make a separate video of this, but I still think that we really need to continue to hold um, Andy accountable. Um, I'm not sure how next season of Potomac is going to be. I don't know if they're going to add a newbie to replace Monique. Most likely they will. I think they will add like a newbie because do you guys really want to watch a season with Robin, Giselle, Candace? Like they're doing the same thing. Like I feel like they definitely need like a more spunk, you know? So we're going to see how that goes in a way. Oh, also he was saying he really misses Monique. Like he loves Monique. Oh, okay, Andy, because Monique is gone, you see the backlash you were getting, you wanted to vilify her on the reunion, now you love Monique. Hmm, it's interesting how people are once their money is, once once people start messing with their money, right? So that's really interesting. I want to see, you know, there's so much, like, anything can happen, you know, anything can happen. So we're just going to have to be, you know... We're just going to have to stay tuned, see what um, happens, see what's going on. And we, we're we going to be on there as well, too, just kind of stay updated. Because I want to see, like, how things turn out, what roles everyone's going to take. <clears throat> so, what roles everyone's going to take. So, we're going to have to see. All right, let me know what you guys think, especially about, you know, this whole, like, Andy kind of backtracking, backpedaling, and saying that he misses Monique. Do you think it's genuine, or do you think it's just because his money, like, people are messing up his pockets, you know? So let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much um, for your love and support. Peace, love, and blessings.